Santiago y le hago ahorita, güey. Se escribe en el chat. Me importa. Sí. Ya está el teacher. Ok. Daisy is a teacher. Okay, okay. 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 We have Daisy as the teacher. Miss Daisy. Eight rounds. Ya es el teacher, ya es el teacher. Hey guys, thank you very much. Sorry. Welcome, was, uh, teacher. Hubo un problema con el internet. Um, no sé, no, no hay. Me están pasando internet desde un celular. Um, hemos perdido 10 minutos de clase. Y como saben, yes. los, los requerimientos de support dice que tienen que durar por lo menos dos horas. Uh -huh. so, si son yeah. tan bellos, lindos, hermosos se me dan esos 10 minutos porque si no capaz que nos hacen repetir esa parte de la clase y conectarnos el lunes solo por esos 10 minutos así que si son tan lindos, bellos no hermosos, problem, no problem, no problem. Okay. No problem. thank you very much okay. aquí está su equipo you, pesado thank you, thank you. hey guys, love you all cualquiera se hubiera dado el SAFE y ustedes se pusieron a practicar me quito el sombrero con ustedes. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. So, man, I, 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 I love the, you know, the commitment you guys have. So let's go ahead and continue. Teacher, Thank you for waiting. What's teacher, up? teacher, Ajá. una consulta. Dígalo. Y aunque nosotros hayamos estado conectados, eso sea que esos minutos no cuentan, solamente si usted está grabando. <laughs> yes, that's correct. <laughs> Y de hecho, okay. tengo que pedir autorización porque solo cuentan los minutos entre las 8 y las 10 de la noche. A veces, solo si hacen falta, autorizan tomar los minutos después de las 10. Por eso es que nos quedamos siempre un par de minutitos. Así que, démosle, guys. Igual hay suficiente documentación para que InsaForce sepa lo que pasó y no nos den ningún tipo de problema. Thank you very much for your commitment. Okay. So let's continue. Um, okay. Pretty yeah. much, guys, you're going to be using go, by, and right. the mean of transportation. Right? Eat in subway? Go by subway. 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 Helicopter. Eat camion? Go, go by, by wawa. Go by truck. Go by wawa. Uh -huh. That's right. So this is what we're going to be using. Go by, memorize it, please. Go ahead and write it down. And, uh, and the mean of transportation, okay? Also, something I want to share with you real quick is that we're going to use the difference between get and go. So repeat after me, please. How to use get and go? Look at the words in bold and complete the sentences below. How can I get to the trade center? How can I get to the trade center? I'm going to rent a car as soon as I get to Panama. Well, I want to I'm going to rent a car as soon as I get to Panama. I usually get to the office at 6.30 a.m. I usually use it at 6 p.m. So, in this case, guys, we're going to be using get as a synonym of arriving. Okay? Uh, we have two options as a synonym of arriving. I'm going to rent a car as soon as I get to Panama. It's the same as we say. Do you know the meaning of arrive? Llegar. 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 Mm -hmm. So we are going to cover the uses. I'm going to rent a car as soon as we arrive to Panama. It's the same thing in this context. How can I get to the trade center? It's the same as, well, how do you put here we cannot say, how can I arrive? No podemos decir, how can I arrive? But the context is the same. How can I get to the trade center? ¿Cómo puedo llegar? Right? So we are going to use guess, uh, get in this case to ask for directions. Okay. Okay. So okay. how do you say, ¿Cómo puedo llegar al centro de comercio? How can I get to the commerce center? The... Trade center. 
Hi, can I get? Hi, how can I get? Centro de comercio. ¿Cómo puedo llegar a Metro Centro? How can I get to Metro Centro? How can I get to Metro Centro, right? ¿Cómo puedo llegar a España? How can I get to España? To Spain, right? ¿Cómo puedo llegar al centro? How can I get to Spain? Downtown. Downtown. Downtown, exactly. Now, this one, read with me, please. I usually get to the office at 6.30 a.m. I usually, usually get, usually get, get to the office. office. I usually get to the office at six six thirty. Six thirty. Oh my god! I, I Can I say I usually arrive to the office at six thirty a.m.? Yes. Yes, we can. Mm -hmm. So remember, get makes emphasis on the fact that you arrive. Okay. And in this particular way, how can I arrive? How can I arrive to such place? Got it? Now, read it with me, please. We're going to work with this a little bit more. How do you go to work? How do you go to work? I'm going to go to the conference center after I check in. Guys, um, please don't forget the M of the auxiliary. M. I'm going to go. I'm going to go to the conference center. I go home around 7 p.m. I go home around 7 p.m. 7 p.m. That's right. So whenever we use go, we make emphasis, guys, on the journey we make emphasis on the journey the trip okay so hacemos emphasis en el hecho de ir de el camino no como okay how do you go to work como te vas al trabajo yeah. i'm going to go to the conference center voy a ir al eh, centro de conferencias i go home around 7 p.m Voy a casa alrededor de las 7. So, hacemos énfasis en el viaje en sí. Y get hace énfasis en llegar. ¿Ok? ¿Estamos con eso? ¿Cuál hace énfasis en llegar? Get. 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 Correct. ¿Cuál get. hace énfasis en el viaje, en el hecho de ir? Go. 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 Correct. Correct, 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 correct. Any questions on this? Teacher, no entendí muy bien si era correcto cambiar a right o no, ¿verdad que no va? Yes, but not in this one. O dependiendo del contexto de la oración. Uh -huh. En la mayoría de estos sí van a poder usar el get en vez de arrive. Mm -hmm. Ok. Pero en este, literalmente en este, how can I get to the trade center? No lo cambiamos porque no se oye natural. Mm. Esta déjenla así. Aunque signifique lo mismo, no podríamos hacer el switch de verbo. Ok. Ok. How can I get? No lo cambie. How can I get? How uh -huh. can I get? How can I no get? No importa to... dónde, pero how can I get? No. How can I get? No importa. ¿Cómo uh -huh. llego al centro? How can I get down, uh, downtown? Uh, ¿Cómo can llego get... a Panamá? How downtown. can I get to Panamá? How Don't can I get it. to the beach? How can I get uh -huh. to the supermarket? Okay. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I go to Panama. So, so I arrive to Panama. So we can break the confusion here. If there is any, say si alguna. What is the meaning of this in Spanish? Yo voy a rentar un vehículo mm -hmm. a Spain. Ahí esa palabra no me la puedo teacher. Soon. Tan pronto. As no no as, en cuanto, tan pronto. No tan pronto llegue a Panamá. Panamá. En cuanto llegue a Panamá. Uh -huh. No más llegue. Exactly. Llegar. Porque muchos se confunden con el get de obtener. 
De hecho, sí. Uh -huh. so, son un montón de, de, de usos que tiene el get. Ni nos vamos a meter en todos porque sí. Brains exploding. When it's talking about directions and places from point A to point B, we can use get. We so, normally use get. Okay. So, en cuanto llegue a Panamá, o sea que sí lo podemos cambiar por el arrive. Si ustedes pueden, para quitar la confusión, lo que mencionaba hacer, I get tired. Yo llego cansado o llegaré cansado. Yo me canso, right? Oh, yeah. Ahora, ah. si ustedes quieren saber, I arrive tired. Yo llego cansado. No es lo mismo, ¿verdad? It's not no. the same thing. So if you have a confusion, then it is always, this is not a place. Okay? This is a place. This is a place. place. This office. is a place. So when you're relating get to places, center. it means arrive. Cuando usted está relacionando get con lugares, significa llegar. ¿Estamos? Mm -hmm. All right. So what about this one? I usually get to the office at 6.30 a.m. What is the meaning of that? Okay. Usualmente llego. O sea que podemos cambiar el get por el arrive, ¿verdad? Sí. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ahí está. So get, cuando está relacionado a lugares, significa de llegar. Y cuando metemos el how can I get, ustedes están pidiendo direcciones. ¿Cómo van a llegar? ¿Estamos? Yes. Good. So, get emphasis on arriving. Go emphasis on the trip. How do you go to work? ¿Cómo te vas al trabajo? No como llegas al trabajo, vea. How do you go to work? Uh -huh. Sí, porque si digo how do you get to work, I get tired. I get, yeah. I get tired. How do you go to work? ¿Cómo vas al trabajo? ¿Cómo te vas al trabajo? How do you go to work? So, next one. I'm I going am... to go to the conference center. Voy a ir. Yo me voy a casa. Voy a ir. That's right. No me voy a tragar. Perdón. So, let's go ahead and work on this, guys. Mm. Say with me, please. We're going to buy a charger when we get to the airport. We're going to buy a charger. We're going to buy a charger when we get to the airport. We get to the airport. Get to the airport. Sophie, how do you to work? Sophie, how do you go to work? How do you go to work? Go to work. Yeah, how do you go to work? By car. Now, because we are talking about a transportation method, right? But if I tell mm. you, how do you get to work? Mm. You can say I, I get to work by car, but well, I take uh, Roosevelt Avenue and then I take Alameda Juan Pablo II. So when you use get, you're describing how. Como. Aha, uh -huh, exactly. So that's the difference. How do you go to work? By car. By car. Mm -hmm. By car. How do you get to work? Addresses. Exactly. De, then look at it, it's right here. If you use get, you're talking about directions. If you use go, you're talking about means of transportation. All right. Okay. Let's go with the next one. The trainer is going to to the production plant after the meeting. The trainer is going to go. Go. To uh -huh. go. go. Production plant after go. the meeting. Right. The production plant after um, the meeting. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Now. So we make emphasis on the on the fact that he is going, right? Emphasis en que va a ir. Mm -hmm. And if we have get, emphasis okay. en que? 
¿Cómo va a ir? ¿Cómo va a ir? ¿Cómo va a ir? ¿Cómo va a ir? Right? So, emphasis on going. Ok. Mm -hmm. Emphasis on arriving. Uno hace énfasis en que va a ir y otro énfasis en que va a llegar. Y que no es lo mismo, teacher. No necesariamente. Go, que se va a ir. Get, que va a llegar. Next one. Yo solo Excuse desmeme del león, me hace recordarme, teacher. Ajá, okay. exactly. Me okay, voy y ahí. se va. Ya vengo, me voy y se va. Mm -hmm. Continue, please. Excuse me. How can I? Excuse me. How can I get? How can I get to the bus station? Can I get? That's right. Why? Transportation. Direction. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You're asking for direction, right? Direction. Yes. But the bank is really near. You can. Get by foot. Yeah. Go by go by foot. The idea de get or go. Go 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 by foot. Go by transportation by foot. Because you have a mean of transportation right here. You use go. You have a place. You use get get. You can go by foot. I'm going to call you when I. To the hotel. Get. Get to the hotel. Get. 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 Uh -huh. mm. Easy, right? Once once you put it in practice, it's easier. Good. So let's go ahead and practice this, guys. I'm going to uh, try to win. I'm not sure on what I'm to do. Yo voy a llamar. You know what? I'm going to take attendance <inaudible> 10 minutes later. Voy a tomar asistencia 10 minutos más tarde para que pegue cuando pegue las dos partes del video. Okay? So, this is what I wanted to do, guys. I wanted to please come up with at least three examples of each. Okay? So, try to give me three examples with get and three examples with go. Clear? Okay. 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 Let me go ahead and take a screenshot of this because I'm going to send it to you. You know what? Let's change. Remember that in this particular example, guys, the trainer you can use either or. But if we want to keep the same thing, the production plant is a place, right? So we're going to leave it in get. Vamos a ponerle get solo para mantener la misma estructura. Pero puede ser cualquier. All right, so guys, go to, let's go to the breakout rooms. We're going to work with this for 12 minutes. Try to give me three examples with get, three examples with go. Okay? Go for it. Carla Maria, who's your group? Carla? Hola. Hello. Who's, who's your group? Who are your, your classmates in the group? Con quien está trabajando? Eh, Hector. Okay. William, and William. Hector. Okay. There you go. And um, Miriam. Got it. Thank you. Hector, room two. Okay. I'm just going to go to room six. All right, guys. Work on the examples, please. Okay. Three examples with get Get or go. Voy a hacer a how can I get to the Costa Azul Beach. How can I get to the Costa Azul Beach? Yes. Estamos hablando, ajá, estamos hablando del lugar, el get. Yes. 
Repeat, please. Hi. No escuché. How, how can I get? Uh -huh. How can um, I get? To the Costa Azul Beach. To the Costa Sol and Beach. The beach. 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 Uh, number two, podría ser. Um, I usually, I, no, I, I'm going to, well, I'm going to, I'm going to buy, no, I, I, I really get up in the office at 7 a.m. And in my case, in my case, ¿Cómo sería esto? I rarely, raramente, get to the office. I, I rarely, rarely, creo que se dice. 7 a.m. I, I rarely get to the office at 7 a.m. Claramente llego a la oficina a las 7M, sería en español. Thank you so much. All right. Any question, guys? Sorry, I was getting in touch with the office so I can report the situation. Any um, questions so far? No, teacher. Okay. No, no. Remember the logic. Get, like directions or places. Go, uh, means of transportation. Me. Keep it up. Let me check another group. Okay. Les voy a mandar la mía. Okay. Acá pongo la, la, la que yo digo es She is going to get first place She is going Ahí le envié, ah. le envié chica, no sé si le, le llegó Revisen Sí, ya, ya llegó, igual que el de okay. Daisy. Yo okay. tengo, bye. Ok. Y yo por ahí mandé uno, okay. pero se me fue una E y es bye. Paz. Pero solamente se, se un, quiero, ah, sí, ahí ya la vi cuál es. I, uh -huh. I will go, go to English class. Bye. Bye, bye. Si sí, no, no va la E. Es. I'm going. I'm, I'm going. going to. I'm, I'm going to going. go to the gym. I'm going to go the gym. The gym. Go to the gym. I'm going, I'm to, going go to go to the gym. I'm going to the gym. gym. No falta el tú, verdad? Otra vez el tú. Mm -hmm. Tú. Okay. I'm going to go to the gym. To the gym. To the gym. Gin is a drink, girl. Gym. 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 Voy al gym. Es like, voy a un traguito. <laughs> Entonces sería, I'm going to drink. <laughs> Ajá, I'm going to drink. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go Correct. to the gym. I'm y going. la última, I go. I go. René, I go qué? Okay. ¿A dónde vamos? Pero, arreglar. compuesto no me acuerdo. Ah, pero es que, des, es que descompuesto también tiene que ver de otras cosas, ¿no? Es averi, averiado. Es el, 
Dá mais. Dá mais. Uhum. Então. Ah. Eu, eu, tendré que ir, tendré que ir a, a supermercado a pie porque mi carro está averiado. Broken. Okay. Broken. Okay. Yeah. Damaged is, for example, my phone. My phone is damaged. Look. Mm -hmm. But it is not broken. Okay. Right. So broken could be, for example, the screen. The screen is broken. broken right. Or um, broken means that my car is broken, doesn't work at all. Mm. Mm. Okay. All right, how are you doing with get and go? I need to go to the dentist. Okay. How can I get to the met to Metro Centro? Okay. Uh, I have to go to the airport. Good. Um, y ahorita queremos hacer esa de... Eh, tendré que ir a super a pie porque mi carro está descompuesto. Um, remember that in this case we are using get for directions, right? And places. Mm, sí, we are sí, using go sí. with means of transportation. Sí, 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 es cierto, es cierto. Es cierto. I need to go to the university by car, for example. Mm -hmm. Or I need to, in this case, I need to get to the university by car. How, how can I get by bus? Yeah. Una dirección by bus, por ejemplo. ¿Cómo puedo llegar en bus? How can I get uh, uh -huh. the airport by bus? How can I get to the airport by bus? Mm -hmm. All right, let me check the other two books. You can, you can go, you can go to San Salvador, no sé, como puedes ir a San Salvador. Mm -hmm. um, the car. At the yeah. weekend or in the fin de semana, no sé, al fin de, no, oh, no to, sé. Tomorrow. Car, yeah, go, go. Or by car. By car. <laughs> Uh, like that. You can go. But um, how would it You can go by car. <laughs> you can go by car. Yeah, easy as that. Uh -huh. Don't forget yourself. Great job. <laughs> Let me check the last one. Yeah. You can. She get home uh, she at get, 5 p.m. She gets home at 5 p.m. Uh -huh. At 5 p.m. Mm -hmm. El que habíamos hecho del parque. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo fue que dijiste? Mm. No lo apunté. I, I get a park in the morning. I get a park in the morning. I get a park in the morning. Ir al park en la mañana. I get to the park. Ah, I get I get to the uh -huh, park. Correct. Pick it up. I get to the, the park in the morning. In the morning. Okay. And Teacher, teníamos una duda allí. Go ahead. Dice ahí. She get home at five. Se le agrega la S. Se le agrega la S cuando es tercera persona. Correct. She gets. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. Nice. Good. Good question. Good question. Okay. Vaya. Bien. Vamos listo. Alrighty guys, so let's take attendance real quick. Just give me a second here. Ana Alba Noemi Cortez de Gonzalez. Present. Ana Maria Chicón de Garcia. Present. Carla Ivani Cabrera Sodano. 
Present. Claudia Lisset Canales de Enriquez. Present. Daisy Marcela Rosales Canjura. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosma Morales. Present. Héctor Eduardo López Varela. Present. Sorry. José Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Present. Carla Yanet Amaya Herrera. Present. Carla María Quintanilla Vilés. Present. Catherine Melissa Susana Campos. Present. Mariana Carolina Cisnes Reyes. Present. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Miren Carolina Mozo Valdés. Present. Natalia Carolina González. Present. Don Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Don Alfonso. Present. Thank you, sir. Elena María Isabel Álvarez de Chávez. Present. Thanks. Sabrina Mabel Latín Castro. Present. Sandra Elisa de Osorio Romero. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Great. So, um, come up with your examples, please. I need examples from group number one. Claudia, Daisy, Natalia, Sandra. Okay. The rest of okay. you, please pay attention to those examples. Go. Okay. Um, how can I get to how can I get to the Hotel Paris Hilton? Yeah. How can I go to Paris Hilton Hotel? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, me. We can go by train to San Salvador. Um, is that a question or a statement? Pregunta. Okay, so in that question? case, we're just gonna we're just gonna change it. Can we mm -hmm. repeat it, please? We can, can we go? go by train to San Salvador. Can we? Uh -huh. Good, Natalia. Great job in the we intonation. Can go. Muy buen trabajo en la entonación. La primera la tiró para arriba, fue pregunta. Y la siguiente la tiró para abajo, fue oración. Así que good, good, good. Um, next one. Okay. She's going to get first place. Yes. Yeah, that one is. Hmm. That one is she's going to get first place is as obtener. Right? So. Did you want to say ella que ella va a llegar primero? Uh -huh. Okay. She's going to, to get there first. She's going to get there first. There first. Mm -hmm. Okay. Great. Uh -huh. How can I get to hospital in Salvador? Okay, good. Very good. Thank you, girls. All the uh, examples are great. Uh, one and one from number two. Hector, Carla, Miriam, and, and, and William. One example we get, one example we go. Uh, one example we get is I rarely get to the office at 7 a.m. <laughs> okay. Yes, that's good. And go. For example, go. I go. I am going to go supermarket at 9 p.m. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go to the supermarket at 9. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. Was that your example? I'm going to go. Mm. Yeah, that was the example, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, guys, hay una gran tormenta aquí por el clima. Um, aparte del teléfono, se ha reducido mucho la calidad y a veces no se escucha bien. Okay. Okay, so sorry about that. Um, so yes, I'm going to go to the supermarket. Very good. Um, group number three is Chacón, Carla, Rene. Okay. 
For example, just get. Uh -huh. One and one. I, I get to the shore at 8 a.m. every Sunday. Yeah, church, church. Church. Mm -hmm. I get to the church. Mm -hmm. Next, Rene. Okay. okay. Uh, how do you get to Guatemala? Okay, yeah, como llegas a Guatemala, good. Uh -huh. Carla? And, uh, oh, I have a question though. Sorry, sorry to interrupt. That question, how do I get to Guatemala, guys? Can you give me a good answer for that? Can you give me an answer to that I question? Uh, uh, by bus, by Pullman tour bus. Oh, oh my God. Oh, no. Um, yeah. uh, I get you, uh, Pullman tour. No. But you, hmm. get, you get. Analyze this one, guys. How do you get? Oh, get. Okay. Uh -huh. um, you, um, ¿cómo tomar? you take. Um, By carretera, bus. la carretera uh, internacional, uh -huh. both, la both panamericana. Examples uh -huh. Both examples are great. You can go there by bus or you can take Pan American Road. Uh -huh. Right? So they are both correct. Why? Because we are using get. So with get is either direction or place. Good. Good, 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 good. good. Next, Alba Fernando de Mariana. Okay, um, with go, I need to go to the dentist. All right. And with get, uh, how can I get to Metro Center? Okay. And can we add a way of transportation? Um, with go, um, the supermarket is really near. You can go by foot. Nice. The supermarket is really near. You can go by foot. Yep. We get. Uh, I get to work faster by car. Um. Yeah. You can use it. You can use it. But I gotta work. Is better job. The thing is this. Si tú decís, I get to work faster by car. Estás diciendo que yo Llego al trabajo más rápido en auto. O sea, uh -huh. sí tiene sentido también. Uh -huh. Acuérdense que ambos tienen sentido, depende del enfoque. Si me están Ahora, preguntando, ajá, por ajá, ejemplo. Porque tú está... lo estás comparando, right? Ajá. Me imagino que en bujo o a patín. Ajá. Now, the situation is this. Si tú solo quieres decir que tú vas al trabajo en auto, tú vas a decir, ah, I got to work. I get to work by car. I Acuérdense, el hecho de, ah, I este, work. Uh -huh. de ir, I go to work by car. Yo okay. voy al trabajo en auto. Uh -huh. So go normally goes with a, a mean of transportation. Esa es la clave. Lo demás sí se puede modificar si solo si estamos haciendo énfasis en el hecho de llegar. Ok. Ok. Very good. Um, group number five. Carla, Catherine, Sabrina. Okay. I'm going to get to Spain at 11 p.m. Yes. I'm going to get to Spain at 11 p.m., correct? Oh, can I get to the cinema? Good. When do you get at hotel? To hotel. When do you get to the hotel? Oh, okay, we can use it. What about go? Um, I'm going to go to the supermarket. You in can the morning? Go. Yes, it's fine. However, we can add, I'm going to go to, everything is context, guys. If we are using go related to means of transportation, use it with means of transportation. So I'm going to go to the super in the supermarket in the morning by car. 
No okay. significa que siempre lo tienen que ocupar así. Pero como eso es lo que estamos practicando, traten de meterlo en el contexto uh -huh. para que les pegue. Porque estamos ocupando go para means of transportation. Ok. okay. So I'm going to okay. go to the supermarket by car. Uh -huh. uh. Continue. Okay. You can go by car. Oh, that was the next. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, All right. Great job. Uh huh. Anything else? Not that. All right. Thank you, girls. Now, Jose, Miguel, and Rina. Hey. Good guess. Which Dale, dale, dale. Okay. Which get? Uh, I get to Las Hojas Base by bicycle. I get to Las Hojas Beach by bicycle? Yeah. Or I go. You go for bicycle. Uh-huh. You go, Joseph. It is I go. go. Uh -huh. I go. I go. Yep. Guys, acuérdense que una cosa es decir, llegué en bicicleta, que eso es cuando ocupamos el get. Sí, es confuso. Es muy mm. confuso. Pero el hecho de llegar es una cosa y el hecho de ir es otra. En este contexto, cuando ocupamos go, hacemos énfasis en ir. Yo voy a la playa en bicicleta. Tiene aguante. A menos que viva cerca. De lo contrario, el hecho es go. Ir y el medio de transporte. Ah. All right. So, how can we say voy a, pla a la playa en bicicleta? I go to the beach by bicycle. Uh -huh. I go to the beach by bicycle. Correct. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. I get to the park in the morning. Yes, I get to the park in the morning. Yeah, you can say that. Uh huh. My partner gets at work at 8.30 a.m. Good. My partners get to work. Get to work at 8.30 a.m. Correct. All right. Any other example? Um, yes, I go by Uber to the stadium. Oh, great. I like it. 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 You finished? Yes. So, Miguel, give me the example again, please. Okay. I go uh -huh. by Uber to the stadium. Okay. I go by Uber to the stadium. Guys, I wanted to please pay attention to this. Um, in Spanish, we can say, me voy a mover al estadio. We can say that, right? ¿Lo escuchan normal? ¿Me voy a mover al sí. estadio? Sí. Yep. Yeah. Es mm -hmm. normal. Sin embargo, en inglés, hay que tratar de mantener la estructura. Ok. Aquí en este caso I sería mejor. Go. I go exactly to the stadium, stadium. Okay. Mm -hmm. by Uber. No, no es que esté, no es que esté mal, señor, sino que hay que tratar de ocupar los verbos. Si, por ejemplo, ustedes ocupan el verbo go, inmediatamente decir a dónde. Si ustedes ocupan el verbo eat, por ejemplo, inmediatamente decir que comen. Hay que mantener esa relación. Si ustedes es ocupan el verbo punch, que es como pegar un puñetazo, ¿a qué le dieron el puñetazo? Okay. Son okay. unos, si ustedes no. ocupan el verbo estudiar, ¿qué van a poner? Lo que estudiamos. Lo que estudiamos. Lo que estudiamos. Muy bien. Estudiamos. Y así se van a asegurar que su oración tenga estructura. Ya después pueden poner con quién, ya después pueden poner cómo, o sea, todas esas WH words van después que ustedes han hecho esa, esa relación con el verbo. Como tip, él les ha dicho que va al final. ¿Qué ponemos al final? Casi siempre. Elabora. Exacto. Los time expressions. time expressions. Las expresiones de tiempo generalmente van al final. Así que anoten esto, guys. Please, write it down. Siempre vamos a tener el sujeto 
en cualquier tiempo gramatical, primero ve el sujeto, primero decimos quién. Luego ponemos el verbo o sus auxiliares si lleva. Inmediatamente después del verbo va la relación que viene con ese verbo. Lo que les digo, comer el qué, ir a dónde, escuchar el qué. Ya luego pueden poner lo que ustedes quieran. Ahí pueden poner el where, ahí pueden poner el how, el how ahí pueden poner todo y hasta el final van a poner el what time o el when. Ok, so vamos con subject, verb, object, el objeto es el que va relacionado al verbo, más información y hasta el final el tiempo, la hora, in the morning, at five, tomorrow, va hasta el final. Ok. Very good, guys. So we're going to be uh, working with this tomorrow. Mañana van a hacer una, una combinación de esto, get and go, con dar direcciones. Aparte de hacer el review de toda la unidad, okay, vamos a hacer también la encuesta. Así que, por favor, no falten. All right? Gracias por apoyarme. Gracias por quedarse estos 10 minutos extra. Les aprecio mucho y les agradezco su compromiso. Ahora, get out of here. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you very much. Take Thank care. You tomorrow. Thank, Thank you, teacher. Good night. Thank you, teacher.